A warm welcome to our brand new home here on Racing UK. They're off! Horses away, horses away. You always bring the conversation around to your ex-girlfriends. How many other girlfriends can we go through? <laughs> not many, I don't think. I think I've exhausted them, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> That's the ball on that time, shooting the rider up into the air. It was a miracle the saddle was there waiting for him. Didn't you once on a gecko? No. Now I'm mixing it with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, oh, I'm running out there, there's Million Dollar Doc. A Million Dollar Doc is out of the race, crashes out. What, what do you think that is? <laughs> Hung like a donkey. <laughs> Mikhail does it again because Monterosso's won the cup. You know, Mark, you're the expert in, in American <laughs> racing, uh, French racing, and woman, you're the best. <laughs> Sprinter Sacra has the wow factor. Sunny Hillboy and that's in Galot in a head bobbing, pulsating finish. I never dreamed we could win it. <laughs> Guys, there isn't an umbrella in the truck, is there? Hearing dogs for deaf people moving in a second place, but Bluebell is clear. Bluebell has won. Wow, fantastic. Oh, you could replay that again and again. Where shall I put this? Uh, she said, I said, well, we'll, we'll look after it for you. I tell you, we'd make a lovely jelly ball. As Muster Heel comes by, lucky cat there, just avoided the runners. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> Whoa! Good evening, everyone, and it's a warm welcome, very much a warm welcome for Racing UK's debut here at Kelso. A very warm welcome to Perth. A warm welcome, everybody, to Exeter Racecourse. It's delightful to see Frankel back on the racecourse. Here we go, the Kipco 2000 Guineas. Camelot nosing to the front and driven out. Well, win for Joseph O'Brien. I'll have another has won the Kentucky Derby. You are cordially invited to racing from Chester. Have you backed him? Um, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Forget about the draw. There's going to be a flag start to the Chester Cup. Breaking news. It's McCain again, but this time it's Ilderay who wins the Chester Cup. And where next for him? Um, no, York. no. York. No, he won't probably <laughs> go to York. York. <laughs> In the 415, this is 415 or 345. Well, next Thursday. See, see this is, I get the that. One, we have this, the mild handicap, we listed have this, handicap. We have this wonderful relationship, Marwan and I, that um, we, we sometimes beg to death that we get on very, very well. Oh, you've learned by oh, now oh, to learned, accept yeah, my decisions, yeah. yes. No, a lot of your trainers have it, but I have yeah. <laughs> Here's the result of the photograph for first place. First number 12. <laughs> first number 12. Are we sure, do you think? I have to say, if I had a reverse testicle, I think I'd know about it. <laughs> right, 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 right about now. Fox old brother, check this out. Fox old brother, right about now, about now, about now, about now. Fox old brother. Franco remains unbeaten and remains to look invincible. All over the shop was unseated the rider there, like a bucking bronco for the first furlong. And out the line, the father and son combination of Joseph and Aidan O'Brien won the Investec Derby with Camelot. Would Putty do a trick for James? Would he be able to do a little trick with James? <laughs> <laughs> Olivier Pellier, here. Mikael Barcelona, here. The 
1.57 times 100 minus 50, i.e. 50. Will you do me a favour? Wait just open your door. Oh, okay. But on the inside, Little Ant's got up. Little Ant has won for 11-year-old Charlie Todd. Great ride. Partiti su chissà 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 Joshua Tree, Earl of Tisdale, su una leonina. Chissà chissà chissà. He wants to get Michaels as well. Just me. He, he, he thinks I'm great. Oh, we're losing one on the far side. Fennec Gale has unseated the jockey. You look like an extra from Grange Hill. Well, that's fair enough. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Oh dear, things have taken a turn for the worst at uh, York. There was what you were saying about umbrellas. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's happy about it. Steel stack up Stockholder. Well, no, our last Lovely race on the card was 6 off, 15. I wish that had happened on Ladies' Day. Chaps. Ferdinand's got out the BDS yacht. You're going home in an ambulance. Seems that way. You can't have your cake and eat it. Hey, and he did. <laughs> what is your highlight? This is one of mine. I'm not watching this again. No. I'm, I, come on. I'm only just getting over therapy for this. Just watch. I refuse please. to watch. Puts it. Close at headspace has stopped at the winning line again here. I don't think I've really seen a race in those conditions before. It's dad dancing, really, isn't it? Uh, oh my goodness. Madam. Madam. <laughs> in a four way go. What a finish. We don't have a four Trojan yeah. rocket. He's done what a great well. job. Look at that. Yeah. He's delighted with himself. Look at that. Great job. Brendan! Yes! Down the line, it's Russian bullets. Russian bullets. He won for Philip Holland. Ladies Day, I'm afraid, if you haven't seen this, has been a little bit of a damp squib and tested people's ingenuity. We've got bananas here in the Racing UK studio. Fruit-based jokes, no! They're out. And there, the rear Anna Luna, a terrible error. Oh, Sire Colon comes in to take it, reaches for it. Oh, and Ruby was very nearly gone. And Sire Colon will hold on. Tell us what happened at the second last. I changed my vestige on Bath, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I look like an absolute numpty. Never mind parsnip, Pete. What about pumpkin, Pete? Perhaps rather put off by a black cat who was scorching across the track in front of it. Next race here at Cheltenham is it? Whoa! And Rigged End of Ocean plows through it and can he recover? Can he? Robert Dunn, he's got back in the saddle. Now the ditch, second last ditch in the race, and Renard Dillon has gone there. Well, it's a spectacular sit. What a fantastic recovery that was. Richard Johnson's allowed the horse to drift right over towards the far rail, which seems an eminently sensible move. He's run out! Fingal Bay has run out! Oh, and Dan Breen almost unseated his rider, Francis Hayes. He did well. Hope you've enjoyed us going bananas this evening. No, no.